Dabo, this is the second time you and I have had a chance to do this. The, the, this one, in your wildest dreams, I can't fathom you could have envisioned a win that was this thorough, as well prepared as you were, as good as you are, as well coached and all the rest. To win like this, was it surprising? Well, I mean, I think the way the score finally got away, it wasn't surprising, but we felt like we had the better team and, and uh, we felt like we had great preparation and, and our guys were focused on trying not just to win the game, but to leave no doubt. That was our goal coming into it, to attack from the opening snap and uh, to set the tone early. And, and we knew that we, they were a great champion and we were going to have to, to, to knock them out. You mm -hmm. know, a, sure. a draw is going to the champion. And sure. uh, so uh, I'm proud of our guys, uh, their readiness and their undeniable will, will to win that uh, you saw tonight. Alabama was 14-0, and so were you. And there was a lot of talk about them and maybe them being the best they've ever been. And I know every coach loves to, to give his guys a little bit of fuel. And in the quiet moments away from us, how, how much did you, did you let your guys know how much conversation there was about them and that wasn't about you? Yeah. Yeah, y'all made my job easy uh, because, <laughs> I mean, like, don't act like I no did it. <laughs> Yeah, all 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 y'all <laughs> uh, made, made my job easy because you know and listen Alabama first of all is, has earned everything they've gotten I mean there's no doubt about it but 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 our team won 13 out of 15 games by 20 points or more mm -hmm. and we play an incredibly tough league you know I I know everybody wants to not admit that but the ACC you know is is a, is a very strong league and that prepares us and then how we practice every day and all you got to do is look at our postseason to understand that. But, but yeah, there was a lot of talk. Our seniors, I mean, we had, we had an unbelievable group, and their goal was to be the best ever and, and to be the first team to, to, to go 15-0. And, uh, and, and not only did we, did we do it, we beat Notre Dame and Alabama to do it, and, uh, and we left no doubt. And so it wasn't a, a one-second-on-the-clock nope. type of a game or anything like that. It was a dominating uh, performance by our players, and you got to give them credit. Because, you know, Alabama never loses a game like that. Nope. But sometimes there's just certain things you can't prepare for. And, and I think our guys will to win um, and their vision of what they had and how they wanted to win was, uh, was very evident tonight. There'll be a lot of talk about the freshman quarterback, and there should be, and a lot of the great skill position players. But, Dab, I want to ask you about the guys up front. We had Christian Wilkins. And, by the way, the young man, yeah. he gave you a wet willy, which I told him was horribly disrespectful to do. <laughs> <laughs> but but the, those, those seniors up front on the offensive and defensive lines, Amazing. Dabo, they owned the line of scrimmage this evening. How much, how much appreciation do you have for the tone that both those senior-laden groups established tonight? Yeah, well, you, you can't beat Alabama, number one, if you can't match up in the trenches. And then you got to make plays. I mean, they, they just – they contest everything. And so you've got to make plays. And uh, we run the ball great. We kind of finally got it going. I think that was a 10-minute and two-second drive to end the game there. Um, but the trenches got some pressure on Tua. Uh, he, he threw it to us. We made some, some – we had a couple big turnovers. Mm -hmm. But how about our offensive line? I, we had no sacks. I know it. Zero sacks against, uh, you know, a lot of people said, you know, the, one of the best Alabama teams ever. And for our offensive line to step up, we didn't play great against these guys last year. And uh, for them to step up and protect this quarterback and for Trevor to, to process things, get rid of the ball, Alabama throws a lot at you. Our receivers made some unbelievable plays. But that's the only way. You're not going to beat Alabama if you don't make those plays. For most of my career, I've, I've done a lot of golf, okay? And it, you might win a major championship where you have a great week. And it, it's never dismissed as being a fluke, but it was your week. But when you win a second major, Dabo, that changes the way you're viewed in the locker room because now, now you're really doing some things. So you add a second title in a really short window. So for you and for your program, what does tonight say about the, the trajectory of your program and where it remains? Well, I, you know, I mean, listen, I know, I know we're just Clemson and we're not supposed to be here. Uh, not many people saw this coming 10 years ago. But, you know, we won our second national championship in three years and, uh, and did it in convincing fashion. But really, to be honest with you, we've been an incredibly consistent program for the last eight or nine years. Yep. And so this is just part of our journey. It was our night tonight. It was our year this year. 
and uh, we're going to enjoy it. Uh, man, this is a special blessing to be able to have an opportunity to, to experience something like this once, let alone to get a chance to do it twice. But I think the biggest thing is it just says that, you know, we, we have a great program uh, year in and year out. And, uh, and I think if you, if you look beyond just what happened on the field and you see Christian Wilkins win the Campbell Trophy, you see us have a school record, 66 guys with a 3.0. We won the AFCA Academic Award. We've been top 10 academically, eight out of 10 seasons. You know, just our consistency, that's what I'm proud of. My mm -hmm. goal is not to win the national championship every year. That's not even on our board. That's a byproduct of what can happen. And uh, when you get a, a, a bunch of group, a group of young and talented people to buy into what you're trying to do. So I'm just, I'm thankful that we have a program that people recognize as one of the best programs in the country. You know, Alabama is, is just, it's amazing what they've been able to do. Uh, but tonight was our night. Yep. And again, it was our year. Uh, and, and, and these guys deserve all the credit. Uh, this senior group was special and, and they're definitely uh, the best ever. There's no doubt about that. Well, I said last night on this show that win or lose, you guys had already won because I believe that you had already established yourself right now in this window as side by side with Alabama. And tonight, as you said a number of times correctly, you didn't just win, you left no doubt. You ought to be uh, awfully proud of what you and your young men have done, and I certainly appreciate your time. Congratulations and continued success. No, I appreciate it. To God be the glory. Thank uh, you.